The August update of Home Assistant came with a brand new, super stable, first class Bluetooth integration. If you're using the Home Assistant operating system on a Raspberry Pi, Intel NUC, or any other device that has built in Bluetooth, then Home Assistant will probably automatically detect this and prompt you to install the integration. If the system you're running doesn't have built in Bluetooth, then you can just buy a supported USB Bluetooth adapter and the Home Assistant OS will probably again detect this automatically and prompt you to install the integration. But what about those of us that are running Home Assistant Container on Docker? How do we install Bluetooth? The Home Assistant documentation explains that there are a few extra steps that you need to do if you're not running the Home Assistant operating system. Those are ensuring that you have a system called BlueZ installed and that you've mapped the DBus socket through to the container. I followed all these steps myself, but unfortunately it all went Pete Tong and didn't work as expected. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Bluetooth integration on Home Assistant Container and how I fixed the problems I faced when trying to follow the instructions online. Let's take a look. The first thing that you need to do is plug in your USB Bluetooth adapter or enable the Bluetooth setting in your BIOS if you've got one built into your Home Assistant server. There's a list of known supported Bluetooth adapters listed on the integration documentation page, which I've linked in the description below, and I strongly recommend that you buy one of these if you're in the market for a new adapter. I bought an Asus BT400 adapter to use with my setup, and I connected it to a USB hub on an extension cable so that it doesn't succumb to interference from any USB 3 ports or onboard Wi-Fi. Now that it's plugged in, we can start with the software setup. Those of you who have followed my channel for a while know that I run Home Assistant Container on an Ubuntu server using Docker Compose. If you want to know more about my setup, then check out the playlist I put together with all my Docker videos, which I've linked in the description below. The first thing we need to do is map through the DBus socket from the host operating system to the Home Assistant Docker container. As most things in Linux act like a file, you can map this through by opening up your Docker Compose file going to the Home Assistant section, and then mapping the slash run slash dbus directory from the host to the container like this. Then save the Docker Compose file and open up a new SSH session to your Linux server. Now that we're connected to the Linux server, we can install BlueZ using the apt get command. You can see here that it's already installed on my system and claims that it's running the latest version, which is 5.37. That's a lie. 5.37 is not the latest version, and this ended up causing me a lot of trouble, which we'll come back to later. Because we've updated our docker compose file, we now need to run the familiar docker compose up hyphen d command to recreate the Home Assistant container with our newly mapped dbus socket. Once that's done, you should be able to switch back to Home Assistant, go to the integrations page, and it should have detected the USB Bluetooth dongle and prompted you to install the Bluetooth integration. This is pretty straightforward. Just click the big blue configure button and follow the steps. That's all you apparently need to do and you should now be able to add Bluetooth devices or your SwitchBot integration to your Home Assistant. If you're lucky enough to have a working Bluetooth integration after all of this, then you can hit the subscribe button to my channel and go on about your day. But unfortunately for me, that didn't work. I got a big fat error message. After tearing my hair out and Googling for a while, I came across a GitHub issue that suggested that this error might have something to do with me running an old version of BlueZ. This was weird, because I'd just been told by my operating system that I was running the latest version. I needed to manually download, build, and install a later version of BlueZ and make some changes to my system in order to make my Bluetooth work. This was a massive faff and involved running a lot of different Linux commands to get the thing installed. If you happen to run into this problem, then I've written up a blog post of how to do the upgrade, and I've listed all the commands that I ran. I've linked to this post in the description below if you run into the same problem. Once I restarted my Ubuntu server and loaded up Home Assistant, I realized that this hadn't actually made my Bluetooth integration work. It had just changed the error message that was being displayed. I was now told that my Bluetooth resource was not ready. What the hell? After a bit more Googling and frustration, I found out that the Bluetooth inside my container might not be powered on. To fix this, I fired up Portana, went to the Home Assistant container, and then loaded up a terminal. I then ran the Bluetooth CTL power on command inside the container, which powered it on. I then switched back to Home Assistant, and then removed and re-added the Bluetooth integration. This time it worked 100% as expected and I was up and running. 
Hopefully you didn't have the same trouble as I did, and you were able to get this new Bluetooth integration working first time. What kind of Bluetooth devices are you using in your smart home? Let us know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not hit the subscribe button and follow my channel? I regularly release videos about home automation and smart homes like these ones on screen now. By subscribing to the channel, you'll find out when I've released any new videos, and then together we can make your home smarter.